Farid Bagdalov has a good head for business. The artist put his portrait of the new Russian president on sale the day after his election. A double portrait in front of the Kremlin in the traditional Soviet style. The subtle irony of the pictures didn't stop one collector from paying the price of a luxury car for one of the canvases. The Russian people love their Tsar, the Russian people love their leader, and now the Russian people love their presidents. The Russian people's passion for their president can be seen in their infatuation for portraits of Dmitry Medvedev. His portrait is already everywhere, even on the traditional Russian Matryoshka dolls. 40 euros for this Matryoshka in which you can see the country's recent history and its past leaders. Putin. Yeltsin. But Russia's decision makers and politicians are more discerning. They prefer framed classical portraits. 210 euros for this luxury version. That's the price you pay for showing your loyalty to the new master in the Kremlin. There are private companies who buy these portraits to hang in their offices. For their part, the deputies are still waiting for the official inauguration of the new president before hanging his portrait. But the majority have no intention of throwing away their photo of Vladimir Putin. I think I'll keep both portraits. I have respect for Vladimir Putin and for Dmitry Medvedev, and I don't want to keep changing the portraits the way we used to. Of all the Russian officials, only the future prime minister will not be hanging the portrait of the head of state in his office. I have been president for eight years and I have done a good job. I do not need to hang his photo in my office to have a good relationship with Dmitry Medvedev. As for Farid Bagdalov, he knows when he's on to a good thing. I want to study how power changes a man. In eight years of power, Vladimir Putin has changed the lot. So every six months, Farid Bagdalov is going to paint a new portrait of the president.